So it's rough to know that you go you go to school and then when you get out of school at two o'clock, where are you gonna go? Where are you what are you gonna eat? What is your next move? It's hard to 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 realize that the simple necessities that everybody have and can go home to, I didn't have, or not everybody has. So it's hard to explain to somebody that's never been in it because they'd never understand that that struggle, that that fear for 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 your safety when you had necessities, but now you're homeless. To just not have something you had before is the hardest thing to just go through. They've not even figured out how to take care of themselves yet, so it's it's a bigger issue to to tackle because they don't, they've yet to have the experience to even know what it's like to pay their bills at the end of the month or to feed themselves. And as a youth, it's a hundred times more difficult uh, being homeless as opposed to being an adult. When youth are on the streets or they're kicked out of the house, they're abandoned, this can happen suddenly and unexpectedly to them. They're not really masters of their own domain yet. They're not uh, legally supposed to be responsible for themselves, especially if they're minors. Homeless youth come in all shapes, sizes, ages, races, religions, backgrounds, and uh, that's a microcosm of who and what we all are. It goes unnoticed, and they're very good at hiding it by living friend to friend to friend in high school. And it's very unlikely that you'll see or hear a homeless youth raising their hand or stating, yes, I'm homeless. Uh, they may be limited in resources, but they have become masters of hiding the fact that they are homeless. Nevada Partnership for Homeless Youth is uniquely designed to meet a homeless youth anywhere they are and have interventions and programs that can basically get them out of that sort of survival mode. So the impact is significant. We don't have a wide range of comprehensive service providers addressing the needs of teens and young adults who are facing homelessness. So the impact is very widespread because it's comprehensive. There's outreach, there's really basic drop-in center, safe place to hang out. There is the connection to other resources, there's housing. Our programs start with outreach, where we go out on the streets and we find homeless youth where they are, provide them with the things they need right then, right on the streets. That's hygiene supplies, that's clothing, that's food, and that's information about our services so that if they need to and they're ready to access a higher level of care, they know how to do that, they know where to go, they know who to call. Every single one of our case managers here is a licensed social worker in the state of Nevada. So that means we have professionals who are at the top of their game, who know exactly how to work with these youth. They can also go to one of our many safe place locations that we have all throughout the valley. We have over 100 safe place locations right here in Southern Nevada that any youth can walk into. And that is in partnership with Terrible Herbs Convenience Stores and the City of Las Vegas Fire Department. In addition, another safe place partner is RTC, the Regional Transportation Commission, the bus system here. So if any youth on the age of 18 has an issue, has a problem, a non-life-threatening emergency, or definitely something about homelessness or breakdown in homes, they can call us. So from Safe Place, youth could be taken to our emergency shelter. Our emergency shelter is a confidentially located residential style shelter where youth can get a warm bed, a roof over their head, food in their stomach, clothing on their back, and a safe place to stay temporarily when in the daytime they'll be brought to our drop-in center and work with one of our case managers to figure out a long-term solution. What really is the next step to get them off the streets for good? Anytime a youth walks through a door, we try to find out why aren't you at home. And if it's possible to send you home or to another caring and positive family member anywhere in Canada, the US or Mexico, we will do that because there is no substitute for good family. But we will be that good family for you in any other circumstance. Our independent living program is a transitional housing program where we provide homeless youth with everything they need to succeed. That includes a place to stay. We house them in one of our scattered site condos located throughout the valley. In addition to providing them with their housing and their utilities, we provide them with grocery cards and teach them how to go grocery shopping. We provide them with all different kinds of resources to meet their immediate needs. And then we also provide them with opportunities to build those self-sufficiency skills. In 2010, my freshman year, when I had moved to Vegas for the first time, um, Everything changed. My older brothers and sisters had moved out the house and I became the oldest in the household and I also became the woman in the household because my dad divorced his second wife. And the drugs my dad was selling was the drugs he started using. He started drinking and the counselor called CPS. 
CPS showed up the weekend of my sister's wedding. And they asked my dad if he hit me, and he was like, yeah, I hit her. They asked me and my sister if my dad hit me. And my sister was like, he hits her all the time. And then they took pictures of my bruises. And, but they still deemed it as safe. They deemed my house as safe. It started raining really hard, and um, he beat me and threw me outside and told me that I'm grown and I can find my own place to live. And it is a beautiful thing to see when these kids that are coming out of these traumatic situations can go through our service delivery and come out the other side being self-sufficient. It's, it's, it's hard to put it in just in one word because the services this, this organization has gave me is more than anybody probably given me since I came to Vegas. So with, with, with the help they've given me, it's just, it's hard to put in words. I mean, it's kept me alive. Like, that's my biggest thing. My life has changed a lot because I've had so many opportunities. I've had, I've grown tremendously in me as a person being here at MPHY. MPHY faces a lot of challenges in the particular term that a lot of people don't realize what a major problem this is in our community. And the truth of the matter is that this problem is huge and that this problem has so much impact on so many other issues that the community really needs to get together and, and look at youth homelessness and how it relates to other issues and really make a commitment to eliminating youth homelessness in our community in order to even make traction on so many other issues that are priorities that we're dealing with. NPHY and our community has some really big challenges. This problem isn't getting better fast enough. This problem is only getting worse um, in our communities. And really, the biggest problem is that not enough people know about this issue. Because I am sure, I am confident that there, we live in a beautiful community with caring people that just don't know how bad of a problem this is or that it even exists. MPHY's impact on the community is huge because by working with these youth now, in a lot of ways, we're preventing higher level problems from occurring later on. Therefore, we're saving the community tons of money and time and efforts by getting homeless youth off the streets today before they become tomorrow's homeless adults. We need our community to get behind this issue and say this is an outrage to be happening in Las Vegas, in our surrounding communities, and we need to do something about it. Just when you see somebody come in that's new to the program, you tell them about how we are family, because this place is unbelievable. Not just the services they bring you, but the way they make you feel, you know what I mean? The way they make you feel is unbelievable. And that's just, and that's just alone is, is, is powerful enough to really change somebody, because when you're out there, you have nobody. Nobody cares about you, nobody's thinking about you, Nobody's willing to share with you. But when you come here, they're willing to care, share, and think about you. They're willing to listen to your problems. They're willing to help you get to where you want to go. Your dreams is their dreams. MPHY has definitely given me hope. Even though everybody saw like a good, smart kid who had chances to get into college, I think like I was probably a couple days away from giving up on everything. I didn't think it was a program like this. I didn't know when coming to Vegas, it was people like this because it's so different from where I'm from. So to know that it's people that, 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 are, that are genuine, that care, and people that want to see you do better, it's, it's, it's amazing. Every time you walk through that door, it's a memory. Every time you leave, it's a memory. It's just so many things that's here, you don't get nowhere else. These memories, the things we do, the people you see here, so many memories. So many things that happen on a daily basis that when you leave, you take something with you.